All right, guys, so our next main topic here is some pretty big casting information here. There was news came, that came out a while back that Sony was going to be developing more, you know, solo standalone films that uh, are utilizing their, their Sony catalog of characters. And they've said that, you know, you know, they own Sony owns the rights to Spider-Man, but along with the Spider-Man rights is a, essentially there's about 900 characters involved in like the Spider-Man Spider Verse of characters, and uh, so they they announced uh, like a couple of years ago that they were going to be developing like the Morbius film, the Venom movie, and then those two have you know, well Venom's came out the first one, and then Morbius was supposed to have came out as as well as Venom two, but they also were going to do like a a Silver Sable and Black Cat movie. We don't really know where that stands at the moment. It was like it was on, then it was canceled, then it was talked about maybe coming as a TV show. So who knows about that? Then they even at one point there was a Madam Web story going around that they were going to make a Madam Web movie, which would have been kind of interesting. But then most predominantly there was talk about a Craven movie, and we now have our Craven cast here. And a, a, a couple, I think it was earlier this year, if I'm not mistaken, it, the news came that J.C. Chandor was going to be directing the Craven movie. But now we have found our Craven in uh, a familiar Marvel face, in that of Aaron Taylor Johnson. So most people would know him from you know Quick as Quicksilver in the uh, Avengers: Age of Ultron movie, who did not make an appearance in. Uh, well, I guess if you want to consider the flashback, he did make a. A little bit of appearance in WandaVision, but to a lot of people's disappointment was not actually in WandaVision for any any real intents of purposes. But he is now moving over to the the, the Sony Spider-Verse, uh, but we're going to talk more about the Sony Spider-Verse thing here in a minute because apparently that's not all what it seems to be either. So there's some plans uh, that uh, some executive made about, you know, the Sony MCU kind of movie verse and it's i don't know we'll get into that. that's going to be our topic here in just a minute we're talking craven right now so in my opinion i think this is pretty good casting i never would have thought this if i was like making a list of people that i thought should or could play craven i don't think i would have put aaron i don't even think i would have thought about aaron terrell johnson for it to be honest no. with you not to say he's a bad choice. I think he's actually a great choice for it because he's a, he's a great actor. And like I said, most people really just know him from like Age of Ultron as Quicksilver, at least in, in as far as this kind of movie sphere would go in this genre. But I mean, he was also kick ass. He was in the, the, the Godzilla movie, the first one. And then um, he's, he's in a movie that uh, I'm really looking forward to coming out just based on the synopsis called Bullet Train with Brad Pitt and like Lady Gaga. It's a bunch of assassins on a train together and it's directed by one of the directors of the original John Wick film. I can't remember which, I think it's David Leach, but I can't remember which like I'm excited for that, but he's been in other stuff too that he's just, at least to me shown that he's a very good actor. So I'm kind of excited for it. Definitely came out of left field, not who I would have expected to be playing Craven, but you know, Rick, you hear this news. What, what do you think about uh, our boy Aaron Taylor Johnson here playing Craven and the Craven movie in general? Well, like you said, I, I wouldn't ever think or picture him being Craven. Uh, he, we talked about it on the stream, and uh, I said it like he's got kind of like a baby face. And I, when I think of Craven, I think of like a really brutal dude, and I just I don't get that vibe with him. I think this picture with this 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 you know beard if it's like going on, I think he looks the part right here. If he look if he's like a young Craven, sure, but I just. I've always thought of Craven, like even back to like my Spider-Man cartoon days and all that, like he's a brutal dude. Like he's a really intense kind of like person. And I just, I don't get that with Aaron Taylor Johnson. Well, the key thing you remember is it's an actor's job to be something they're not. Right. right. So, <laughs> I'm sure it'll be I good. He he's a great actor. Yeah. yeah. He's great. But and, uh, it's just not. Well, it stands as a question or uh, the question remains kind of like what you were getting into. Is this going to even this is going to be like a true origin story. Like, are they going to like, I don't know, make up their own kind of Craven lore to kind of like squeeze him in? Like, is he going to, are we going to see like, I don't know what, what's going to make this Craven fit into the whole spider verse thing that they got going on anyway. Cause I mentioned like right. years ago when they were well, not years ago, but when they first announced, they were even thinking about making a Craven movie as a standalone thing, which is already kind of odd because like, Craven, most notably, is obviously just a Spider-Man villain who, like, you know, the last ton, he hunts Spider-Man and whatnot. So it's like, 
anything outside of that context, like, what are you going to do with it? You know what I mean? And I'm right. not super well versed in like Craven lore no. by any means. I know of the last hunt and everything. And I thought the, the my original concept and idea that I came up with was, you know, it'd be really cool if they made Craven hunt venom. Yeah. You know what yeah, I mean? Because be cool. like he could look at it as like this weird alien threat. Maybe say that during the first venom movie, his friggin' dad died or something by one of the symbiotes, and now he's seeking revenge on the, you know, Venom because right. he's the last symbiote on Earth. And, you know, like, who knows? I thought that would be a cool concept. Yeah. But we'll just have to wait and see. John, what do you think about uh, Aaron Taylor Johnson here playing Craven? And what do you think they're going to do with the, the Craven solo movie in general? Like, what direction do you think they're going to take? I don't know. <laughs> this is this is kind of out of left field for me. I, I of all the characters I would have expected Sony to go with uh, for an individual film, I I guess Craven makes as, as much sense as any others. I mean, um, you know, I, I don't. He looks he looks good in that picture. If, if you throw like you know the Craven costume on that face, like it, it fits pretty well for me. Um, yeah. you know, he's, I like him as an actor. I think he's, I, you know, I love the kick-ass movies. I thought he was great in that, but you know, he's playing a very different type of character than uh, a craving type character. So, um, one of, I think, you know, obviously they're doing one of two things, either he's going to completely go against type for what he's played in the past and, and, and find a way to tap into, you know, a more, animalistic uh interpretation of of, of, a, of a villain or a character or or they're going to adjust the craven character somewhat to fit whatever his natural you know what whatever his kind of intrinsic abilities are or uh, innate innate i think is not intrins- innate abilities as an actor are so it'll be interesting to see what they do with it um i think craven's you know is a guy that hunts things so i mean that right there you know there's been tons of movies over the years that have involved hunting things. I mean, the Predator franchise is one that you know immediately speaks or springs to mind. So um, I, I think the premise is is good, and when you when you actually start thinking about it for a for a Craven movie, um, one of the things I was kind of surprised is you know I, I think what I said it took me by you know kind of came out of left field, took me by surprise was uh, if you look at it, you know. A lot of people are trying to diversify their their offerings. We're, we're, we're getting more racially diverse movies. Um, you know, you look at the MCU; they've they've diversified. Uh, kind of, it's not all just white males <laughs> that their that their movies are coming out from. And Sony now, you've got Venom, and we know Morbius is coming. And their third movie, they didn't do that. They kind of went with n- another white male um, led movie. And I-, I was just a little surprised that they didn't try and expand. Like, I personally would have loved to have seen a black cat movie. I think Felicia uh, would have been a great character to bring into that universe. Um, they're obviously not using her in the MCU right now. Um, so I thought that would have been really cool for them to maybe go that route. And and then you'd have a female led film, um, which would be interesting. So um, it'll be interesting to see how well, uh, you know, Morbius does. I think if Morbius it, it, well, here's the other part of this whole thing is I don't know how close they are to actually filming this. If they're just in early like script phase and they're casting it out and they've signed him, but like they don't have a solid script in place yet. If Morbius comes out and doesn't do well, I wonder if they even go through with this movie. Um, now, that being said, we're going to talk about something later that makes it probably more likely that they will go through the through with this despite whatever box office happens with morbius but um but anyway yeah i i i'm excited for it i like like i said i mean we've we, i will keep saying this until i'm blue in the face or dead or whatever the saying i want to use you want to use is um i you know I, I lived through an era where you had to scrape and claw and beg to see any comic book, movie, TV show, video game, whatever. So the more the merrier for me. Um, I'll take the good with the bad. And if it's bad, I'll watch it and move move on to the next thing. So, Yeah, and speaking of which, like I did mention like they were going to be making that uh, Silver Sable and Black Cat movie. Like It was announced like a while ago. And it looks like I just pulled up here, according to this Wikipedia, It was as early as 2014, a Black Cat and Silver Sable movie was uh, first mentioned. And then 
or at least a black cat, something featuring black cat in general. And then by 2017, that's when they went with a, the Silver Sable and Black Cat film. But then, as I mentioned before, it by Jan, in January 2020, it went to being, well, now it's going to be a television series. And apparently, I, I wasn't aware of this, though, like uh, Prince Blythewood, who directed uh, The Old Guard for Netflix back in the day, apparently, well, not back in the day, but just like a year or so ago, I guess yeah. he was or he or she. I'm not. I'm not sure who. I'm not familiar with who they are, other than the fact that I'm reading this thing that said they directed the old guard. But they were supposed to um, direct this silver sable black cat feature, but decided to do old guard instead. So now, I guess the uh, they were supposed to return, or they expressed interest in returning back after the old guard. So that's been some time now, but it's been. I mean, it's been radio silence on that thing since. Uh, 2020 really when they said the tv thing yeah. so i'm curious to see if uh it is kind of interesting though they just went with uh you know the third their third thing just being another white male lead I, I think craven would have honestly been a good chance to actually diversify in that on that uh level because i mean he's always been depicted at least even when i like in that picture i just had up of him like you know he he, he looks like a man of you know an ethnic background you know, of some kind. Oh, right. But I mean, I could also see him just fitting in as like, you know, he's just a tan white guy too. You could do that. I mean, the race doesn't yeah. really matter as long as they do a, uh, as long as it's a good actor, they got a good actor for it. So, I mean, I'm cool with that, but it would have been a good chance for them to diversify. There's no doubt about that. So, but yeah, I'm excited for it. Nevertheless, you guys, you guys think that, uh, well, actually I'll scratch that. We can, I'll, I'll, pres I'll present the question to you, but we'll cover it in another and, you know, one of the upcoming topics here, because I was going to say, do you think they're doing this, you know, Venom movie and then the Morbius movie and now this Craven movie to potentially be setting up a Sinister Six? I would think so. Like we can address it more on the next topic. But do you think that's what like Sony's end game is here? Yeah. Setting that up. Sure. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's, I mean, that's yeah. It seems like it could be a very likely thing at this point. So yeah, but we'll talk about so. that more in just a minute too. So, but guys, you know, we got our Craven the Hunter casting here and Aaron Taylor Johnson himself. So, you know, we all unanimously think it's a pretty good choice, but uh, definitely not someone we would have expected for the role offhand. So, but whatever you guys think about it, let us know down in the comment section below.